In part three of the Smart Copilot 2 tutorial, I'm going to start by, before we actually start X-Plane, uh, with your other pilot that you wish to use Smart Copilot with, you're going to need to decide a few things before the flight. Um, it is very, very important. Both sides are a hundred percent identical that is the aeroplane you're going to use the navigation data that that aircraft will use or, and certainly X plane is using um, so ideally have the latest navigation data if you can't have the latest navigation data, you must, you must have the same navigation data. You must also use the same scenery, and that is from mesh to ortho, and also especially runways follow contour lines. Um, you both need to have the same settings. Um, the runway contour lines will often, if one of you has it turned on and one of you has it turned off, you will generally, one of you will fly, it will be five to 20 feet height difference. Uh, that is also the same if you use different scenery. So my, what my thought process is start simple. So um, if you can turn off all of your scenery essentially and, and just go with default x-plane scenery so no hd mesh no add-on airports no all of that turned off um, and do try and do a simple flight maybe f uh, a, a short simple flight in a, a simple aircraft uh, start simple and then we can you can build up to get the connection going i would advise probably the default Cessna it's not a bad aircraft to start with or you have to pick aircraft that have configuration files as you can see here on the smart copilot website if we scroll down just a little bit on the downloads page there are at the moment at the time of making this video there's four pages of configuration files for all different aircraft from I'm not going to name any of them on here, but you can see uh, a number of the payware aircraft are on here, as well as the Laminar default, the X-Plane default aircraft. If we go to, I currently believe, I'm just checking, I think it's on page, it's now on page 3, C172. SP for X-Plane 11.11 .11. and this is the GNS 530 and the G1000 so we'll download that config file again I keep things I keep things quite regimental I like to keep my downloads where I know where they are so in add-ons smart copilot 2 I have a configs folder and in there you can already see I've actually downloaded the config for the Cessna so with that downloaded if we go back again to that folder and we would extract that config file so add-ons smart copilot to configs Cessna we would extract that zip file that we downloaded, extract all to get this folder and inside is the config file that we want. Similar to what we did in step two, we're going to copy that config file and now back to our X-Plane 11 install directory into the aircrafts folder and for the laminar aircraft or the, the default X-Plane aircraft, they're actually in the Laminar Research folder. And then Cessna 172SP, 
So this is the Cessna 172 SP aircraft folder and you would paste the Smart Copilot 2 config file in here. I actually already have it here as you can see. That has effectively now the Smart Copilot is set up specifically for the Cessna 172. So in the next step I'll show you the connection to another user who is using 100% the same scenery, the same navigation data, the same config file, the same aircraft and how we get the connections to work.